In today's show, according to Cypherpunk and Bitcoin contributor Adam Back, Hal Finney's $10 million Bitcoin price prediction is closer than it sounds. And if you didn't know, back in 2009, Hal Finney wrote this running Bitcoin and made the infamous prediction 20 million coins that gives each coin a value of about 10 million dollars in today's show we'll also be taking a look at what Adam back had to share on Twitter regarding this 10 million dollar per Bitcoin price prediction and I'm also going to give everyone an update on how Finney's idea now seeing 18 million dollar Bitcoin price prediction this is an update for the new decade and as you can see the entire crypto market is pumping back in the green once again Bitcoin is up almost 6% trading above that critical resistance of 8,500. Today, I'll be doing a Bitcoin price action. All this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button and click that bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And before we kick off today's show, if interested in tapping into OPM, other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, click that link right below the video in the description. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and let's dive right into this $10 million Bitcoin price prediction, which may be closer than it sounds. According to Blockstream founder and cypher punk Adam Back, Hal Finney's $10 million Bitcoin price prediction isn't so far-fetched, though. The reasons behind these levels may not be as apparent as you think. When it comes to price predictions, crypto analysts often tout the most hyperbolic and overinflated projections imaginable from the more modest end of the spectrum at around $10,000 towards the virtually inconceivable heights of $10 million. Valuations within this space can vary widely. Currently circulating its way around the ecosystem are some of the earliest Bitcoin price predictions ever made as per Adam Back, and they will come to fruition. The first Bitcoin price prediction ever made is Hal Finney, which is frequently praised as one of the most respected cypherpunks of all time. The late programmer, also among the list of presumed identities for Satoshi Nakamoto. What up, what up? Finney was involved in Bitcoin from the get-go. He was the first known recipient of Bitcoin and the fervent contributor to his algorithmic foundations. As you can see, his original tweet here regarding Bitcoin, and this is going back to January 10th, 2009, 11 years ago. Moreover, Finney was also responsible for the first ever price predictions. Merely a week after the mining of Bitcoin's Genesis block, Finney opined that Bitcoin could grasp a value of $10 million per coin. This hypothesis was based as many Bitcoin price predictions are these days on Bitcoin becoming a de facto global payments system. Here's what Finney wrote. As an assuming thought experiment, imagining that Bitcoin is successful and becomes the dominant payment system in use throughout the world, then the total value of all the currency should be equal to the total value of all the wealth in the world. And expanding upon Finney's prediction, he wrote, current estimates of total worldwide household wealth that I found range from $100 trillion to $300 trillion. So with 20 million coins, that gives each coin a value of about $10 million. Finney went on to suggest that throwing a few cents of computer time was actually quite a good bet. As we all know, he was wrong. In 2010, mining one Bitcoin block would have netted a cool 50 Bitcoin for virtual pennies. Today, 50 Bitcoin fetches a sum of around $400,000. It's the economy, stupid. But as far as Bitcoin becoming a squashy global standard of exchange, the jury is still very much out. In defense of his fellow cypherpunk, Adam Back vindicated Finney's prediction. Rather than place too much emphasis on a monetary revolution, the Blockstream CEO instead focused on inflation of the dollar. According to Back, as the greenback steadily depreciates due to inflation, Bitcoin will, by contrast, continue to grow, thus increasing its price point against USD. Adam Back shared on Twitter, it's closer than it sounds as along the path of hyper-Bitcoinization, the USD inflation rises, aided by modern monetary theory rationale for high inflation. So $1 becomes worthy, 10C over a decade or two, of monetary craziness, then $10 million per Bitcoin is $1 million Bitcoin in today's money. Then expanding upon his tweet, Adam Back added, and $100,000 Bitcoin doesn't seem so far, given we already crossed 
$10,000 threshold a few times when few expected even $1,000 some years back, and $10,000 seemed crazy. Touche. And Plan B responded to that saying, totally agree. Must admit that I probably would have not this level of confidence and interest in Bitcoin if I would have not had 20 plus years experience investing $100 billion and personally seeing the unintended consequences of quantitative easing and negative interest rates. Now, before I give you this revised Bitcoin price prediction of $18 million by Hal Finney, for the update of the new decade, I want to first share with you this crypto market, which is pumping and it's a beautiful thing. Bitcoin's currently trading at $8,525, up 5.39% in the past 24 hours. Bitcoin Satoshi Vision is pumping like nobody's business, up 33%, trading at $217. Bitcoin Cash is up about 8%, trading at $285. Ethereum is up 5%, trading at a buck 51. XRP is up 4%, trading just below 22 cents. Miss Litecoin up almost 8%, trading just below $54. EOS is up almost 6%, trading at $3.29. Link is up 2.9%, trading at $2.23. As you can see, it's a beautiful thing when money starts pouring into the crypto market. Are we on the verge of a bull run? I personally believe so, and I think it's going to be extraordinary to witness. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments right down below. All right, now let's get into this updated Bitcoin price prediction for the new decade. Hal Finney's idea now sees a $18 million Bitcoin price prediction. On January 10th, 2009, computer scientist and cypherpunk Hal Finney, who was on the receiving end of the first ever Bitcoin transaction, published his now famous prediction that Bitcoin has the potential to reach the price of $10 million per coin. On its 11th anniversary last week, the crypto community revisited his thought experiment with one tweet getting hundreds of retweets. But based on the new data, it turns out that Finney might have actually underestimated how valuable Bitcoin could be. Revisiting what he wrote, according to Finney's amusing thought experiment. If Bitcoin becomes the dominant payment system in the world, its price will skyrocket because of the innate emission limit of 21 million coins. In Finney's estimation, the total worldwide household wealth was somewhere in the range of 100 and 300 trillion US dollars at the time of writing with 20 million coins that gives each coin a value of about $10 million. And now for the revised prediction, the world's economy has grown in the 11 years since the post was made. According to the Global Wealth report 2019 by Credit Suisse. The total worldwide household wealth today equals approximately $360 trillion divided by 20 million Bitcoins. And keep in mind, 20 million Bitcoins don't even exist because probably about 7 million or so are lost forever and more will continue to be lost. But let's just say 20 million Bitcoins, we get an even bigger number, roughly $18 million per single coin. This would be an increase of 225,000% in the price of Bitcoin, a value appreciation not unheard of in the Bitcoin ecosystem. And taking a look at this graph, it says change in household wealth from 2018 to 2019 by region, breaking it all down from Africa, Asia, China, Europe, India, Latin America, North America, and the world. However, the thought experiment depends on one thing, hyper-Bitcoinization. This is the idea of the world running on Bitcoin, and it's a big assumption. If all the money in the world ran on Bitcoin, it would be the sole focus of attack for hackers to protect it. There would be countless more miners protecting the network, which would take an even bigger toll on the environment. With fewer mining rewards, transactions fees would rise astronomically. And that's if the network could cope. When the slither of the world's attention was on Bitcoin at the peak of the bubble back in 2017, the network struggled to handle the load. Transaction fees rose and transactions took hours to go through. The SegWit update has helped and it has helped tremendously to make it more scalable, but it only doubles the network's capacity. Plus, Bitcoin generally relies on the internet to operate in countries with patchy or no internet connection. Bitcoin isn't a very applicable solution. So even if the world only used Bitcoin, many countries simply wouldn't be able to do so. However, Finney had an answer to this objection. He said, 
even if the odds of Bitcoin succeeding to this degree are slim, are they really 100 million to one against? Well, that depends if you listen to the skeptics. What are your thoughts regarding this 10 million and $18 million Bitcoin price prediction update? Drop me a comment right down below. The total cryptocurrency market cap is sitting at just under $229 billion with over $100 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. So volume has kicked up and the Bitcoin dominance is currently 68% even according to coin market cap. And taking a look at the top gainers for the day, we have block stamp up a whopping 52% trading at a buck 61. Bitcoin Satoshi Vision pumped 26% trading at $206. A privacy coin named Dash is up 26% trading at $82. Zcoin is up 22% trading at $4.48. Bitcoin Gold is up 20% trading at $8.07. And another privacy coin called Zcash is up 16% trading at $42.80. And taking a look at the top losers, Nexo leading the pack down 5% trading at $0.10. Cents. Seal down 2% trading at 13.6 cents. Sia coin down 0.9%, trading at 0.001. Engine coin down 0.63%, trading at 7 cents. Waves down 0.59%, trading at 86 cents. And Dogecoin down 0.11%, trading at 0.002. Now this is very bullish to note the top losers in the top 100 coins in the past 24 hours is negative 5% and negative 0.11%. Not too shabby, right? And taking a look back at Bitcoin, I actually want to do a price action here. $8,500 has been a critical resistance. We've been poaching it and then dropping right back down the bears, kicking the bull's ass. But this time, we're seeing a nice healthy pump. And I would not be surprised if we can surpass this and stay here over the next 24 to 48 hours. We will continue to rise, surpassing $9,000 and eventually the $10,000 mark because there's not much resistance in between $9,000 and $10,000. What are your thoughts? Drop me a comment right down below. And checking out the BitMEX margins, we can see the bulls are dominating in control with about $200 million in superiority in the past 24 hours with long Long's leading 53.22% versus 46.78% shorts. Are you bullish or bearish on Bitcoin? Drop me a comment right down below in the description. And checking out the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, we're finally back in greed. Rated a 56 yesterday, rated a 49, which was neutral, and last week a 51, which is neutral. But last month, we were in extreme fear, and it was pretty crazy, to say the least. If you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, Extreme fear can be a sign that investors are too worried. That can be a buying opportunity. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this Bitcoin rocket ship heading straight to the moon. Take me to the moon, baby. Take me to the moon. If you got value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And real quick before I go, if interested in tapping into OPM, other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, smash that link right below the video in the description. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.